house. You can fuck on my ass Damn. on a Saturday night. <laughs> Dude's so good. Oh, yeah. Even though the mailman fucked my ass, <laughs> I still won't yeah. leave my wife. <laughs> All right. Are we ready to jump into this, boys? I think so. Let me see what time it is. We are recording. It was 8.06. Here we go. Fuck, I thought we were supposed to be here at 7.06. Fuck, Welcome, yeah, everyone, to The Brothers Commonplace, a comedy and crime podcast where we cover monsters, murders, mysteries, and more. And before we get into, ooh, <laughs> no. those sexy ooh. brow raises, I think I turned the lighting down too far. I don't feel like messing with it, so it's the fine. video's going to be a little bit darker today. That's fine. Nobody watches that shit. Um, <laughs> uh, I want you all to meet my little favorite spirit boxes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Uh, what's going on, guys? This is Tim, or as Kevin Andrew call me when I just don't want to leave the gym, Alanis Morissette. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Hell yeah. Fuck, dude. dude. So we stupid. rode here together, but I think I'm just going to. Yeah, I dude. think I'm going to walk home. <laughs> that was awesome. We dude. didn't even ride here together either. Uh, what's something fun? I got one set on the. Something. One set on the Bowflex is what one fucking Benoit had. One set on the Bowflex. <laughs> can, can I go? I got one. Okay. Hey, well, everyone, this is Toof, or as they call me when I sang those sad songs about the ocean, Atlantis more sad. Oh, come <laughs> on, dude. Yeah, you, had, you oh, yeah. had to go ahead so you wouldn't forget that. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. who's, that? Um, who's that? Um, oh, shit. Hey, it's uh, me. It's... uh. Actually, it's a uh, me, Hides Cassidy. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. That's it's Big Brother Boy, Hell aka yeah. Andrew. Dude, doesn't Cassidy listen? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> she's like, I'm fucking kicking Andrew's ass. Well, she's well, going to have to watch so she can see the shirt you got on, too. Fuck she yeah, knows. Dude. I know, but let's see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's not going to cut my hair anymore. Dude, next time she cuts your hair, she's like, slit your throat. There we go. <laughs> Nacho <laughs> Average Cassidy. Dude, very, so good. very cool shirt. Mm hmm. And it is your boy Kev, aka the Diamond Handed Dirty Dog, or back when I was that actor on Independence Day that blew up, Will Smithereens. Oh, <laughs> oh so yes, stupid. dude. <laughs> so stupid. Well, uh, hey, Primo, episode. can you turn your mic up just a little? I'm sorry. Yeah, the cord must have got caught. Like that? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was yeah. fingering it with my toes. So, alrighty. So, it's not official because we have so many different random episodes that we don't exactly number. But for the ones that I keep track of, this should be episode 200. 300. Fuck yeah, dude. 200. So, very exciting. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, our boy Spence cannot make it again today. But uh, we wish the uh, the corn shirt wearing son of a That's bitch. That's where he's at. We hope that he's all right. We love him. He's but at a corn festival. The corn festival. His shirts. She's shucking roll. corn. They're very cool. So today we are covering a case once again. We will be covering the case of Glenn Lee Benner the second. Mm. I oh. already know this one. We can't do this again. Is this is such a Pearl Jam song. It does. Uh, <laughs> can't fuck. find a better man. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Uh, don't call me the second. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Banner. Fuck yeah, dude. I seem to recognize. <laughs> I don't even know. Wait, that was, was that Violet J pertaining to do Pearl Jam? Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fucking juggalos. Damn it. Yeah, you just. Got, you outed yourself. I know. Yeah, I, I know. know. I think he does not want an episode. We know he's a juggler. Uh, yeah. They know. They know. Yeah. They've known for so, a while. All righty. How about juggle stuff? Can I just you can dive into something real you quick? Yeah, some juggle. Should we save for the Patreon? Eh. Uh, no, we, we have a healthy Patreon coming up. Do we? What do we have? We have television hands. Oh, I, I don't have television hands ready. I want to wait for Spence to be here. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. I thought of one. Too. For Halloween, we went to like Spirit Halloween. Uh huh. And um, I looked for white grease paint and black grease paint. Fuck yeah. yeah. I was going to shave my face and go as Insane Clown Posse. And Cassie's like, please don't. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, please. Yeah. Please. I was like, you're not even going trick or treating with me. Like, it's going to be probably like me, Dave. And then you think Kevin's going to be there? Like, no. And she's like, please, please, no. And then I was like, oh, never mind. I forgot I had the best outfit anyway. Fuck yeah, the, the minion. minion. Yeah. yeah. The minion. What if she's like, yeah, please don't do that. Dude. And then on Halloween, she does it. Yeah. She's like, I didn't want you to steal my yeah. costume, bitch. It was literally a hostage <laughs> negotiation situation in spirit Halloween of Fuck her. Like, yeah, please dude. don't like, please. I, I Wait, who and, like was, me, like looking at the paint, like flipping it over. Who like, was held hostage? In that situation? <laughs> yeah. Her. Uh, <laughs> Fuck yeah. I've gone in public twice painted as, That's so good, as dude. Violent J. 
Uh, one of them was Hey, to... save your wedding episode for later. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, we'll save, we'll save those to the Patreon. ICP face paint stories. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what if like that wedding you said where the guy was the Joker? Yeah. What if he was just dressed up as ICP? You that'd be zoom fucking... In. Yeah, you that'd see That'd be it? fucking <laughs> sweet, dude. He's a, he's a retard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see this retard? See that? Sorry to cut you off. You can continue. Cut. So, all righty. So, um, want to do our disclaimer, Toof? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, um, first and foremost, before you access any further, you must know we are a comedy crime podcast. Notice I didn't say crime comedy podcast because we put the comedy first, baby. Yeah. And we are dark humor and dark humor, meaning like it's if you don't like meanies, then we're going to make you mad because we say meanie stuff yeah. like it happens. But we laugh. So it has a good vibe to it. I think we're pretty nice. I don't think we're that mean. We're the, yeah. we're the, the well, cast of the stuff you delete too. from me, maybe. <laughs> oh, fuck Remember yeah. uh, Steven Adler, the original drummer from Guns N' Roses? Mm. Like he was on VH1, on um, one of the reality shows, and he's like, "We were the bad boys," but like he had a stroke, so oh, he like only half yeah. of his face worked, and he was like, "We, I did everything I possibly could to try to kill myself." Fuck <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. What he, if like, he that ruled. might be our slogan? He ruled. <laughs> our what if slogan? <laughs> what if he kept saying "We are the bad boys" is because like the stroke like messed up his brain? He thought he was in that movie. <laughs> Fuck oh, dude. He Hell thought yeah. he was in the NWO, <laughs> not yeah, GNR. Dude. He Hell got yeah. his letters mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's he's on the the surreal life, whatever it was. Whenever they had China on there, oh, yeah. and you're supposed to go in and destroy this hotel room, and yeah. like whoever did the most damage won. And Steven Adler was the judge. Fuck yeah. And like China, okay. I guess she thought she was making a statement. She went in there and just walked around and didn't do anything. Dude, fuck yeah. And Steven Adler's like, I really wanted you to win, but you didn't break anything. <laughs> dude, what if she just went in and blew up the toilet? She oh, fucking dude, cleaned dude. and blew the entire hotel fuck out. Yeah, dude. Yeah. All right, let's jump into this. So here we go. We got a bit of a local scumbag to cover. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're covering me again? And no, I'm not talking about the future Hall of Famer Bronny James, but we we are oh, yeah. talking about just a kid from Akron. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, Glenn Lee Benner II from Akron. Oh, shit. Yeah. Benner? A couple hours. Benner, from. yes. Oh, man. Glenn L. Why? Benner. Two days walk from here. I thought it was... Is he, did he... Like, you know when you marry someone and your like, name's hyphen something? Yeah. Imagine if you like, married a chick and took her last name and her name was like, I don't know, like Samantha Over. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, dude! Get her over, come on, dude. Okay. So our sources okay. for this case, we have the Department of Rehabilitation and Correction, what? Um, our very loyal Murderpedia slash Wikipedia, ClarkProsecutor.org, and then CaseText.com, where we got the um, the actual files from from the court case, nice. and then Find a Grave. Oh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. So interesting. I've never been on that. It seems like yeah. a cool site. Yeah. So so um I feel like this episode might be one where we get angry family members oh, man. that uh, like comment to us. Um because they find about pissing on the grave stuff. No, what? But there is a um I dumped a jug on it. Because there <laughs> is like a memorial page. Uh, spoiler alert, this dude's fucking dead now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um yeah. there is a memorial page and there's like a hundred comments like from one person. Oh, oh shit. And like there's probably like 20 other people on there and it seems like they became religious or, or were religious at some point. Cause all the memorial comments all have like religion and stuff in them. Okay. So I could see someone being upset that we talk about this dude. Hey, remember if you made it this far, you listened to disclaimer and you kept yeah. going. Yep. Like if you're going to be comedy, if you're going to be pissed and like, if you knew the guy, just comedy. fucking stop now. Like just, <laughs> Just stop, because we honestly don't give a fuck anyway, yeah. so yeah. just stop. Especially when you, once you hear all the stuff he did, yeah. it's like, all right. And remember, we're not making it up. We're just reading sources and, and then reacting to those sources. Yeah, that's right. And you don't have to listen. You could just like, go listen to something else. Yeah. So all the information we have is real. According to these sources, we just make jokes and add in stuff like that. Yeah. So if you don't like any of the information or you disagree with it, take it up with the sources. The uh, you can email mm -hmm. Andrew... Big brother boy at super gmail dot com. Yeah. Do you really want to know my email? Wormy wormy forty five hotmail dot com. Uh, yeah, uh, did dude. Kevin's dad take the one through forty four? Yeah, it took me an hour to get that email. <laughs> I feel like your email would be at like twisted dot com or something. Oh, dude, hell yeah. So if you want to reach Andrew, you can either send an email there, or if you want to meet him in person, he mm. will be at the Source Awards as he is every year. So picking what's, up chicks. What's that? <laughs> is it? 
it just like a, like rap. an award show for Uh-oh. like? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good thing you said that because I was gonna say. Yeah, I know for black say. people. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck yeah! No, dude. that's the BET Awards. Okay, I oh, thought dude. that was what it was. So I'm sorry. Why is there a difference? I don't. I don't know if I should just save this for Patreon, but I like there was one time like recently <laughs> where like there was like a bunch of white people up in the cafeteria and they had BET on. And I was <laughs> yeah, like, why the yeah. fuck is this on? <laughs> Like, yeah. I didn't even culture, know it was still a culture thing. vultures, yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> you know why? It was they played a special on Asher Roth. Oh, <laughs> who's that? He sings that I, that I love college song, and I don't know anything else. He's just a white rapper guy. <laughs> yeah. What's I love college? <sighs> 2009. It, it has like the Weezer say it ain't so riff, pretty much. Oh. Oh wait, I thought that was like fucking Aaron Carter or some shit. No. <laughs> that other guy, Dicky. Hey, Roberts. Aaron Carter, rest in peace. But okay, let's <laughs> yeah, jump yeah. into this episode, guys. Glenn Lee Brenner, born to father and sergeant Glenn Benner Sr. and his mother, Virginia Benner. <laughs> God damn it, I've been too. Benner. dude. Come on, dude. Uh, <laughs> I've been better. Hell yeah. His, d- <laughs> his dad would end up passing away in October of 2006, but his father sounded like he was a pretty badass dude. He was also born in Akron. His father was a resident of Rootstown for over 20 years. He was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran of the Korean War, and he was a retired truck driver. Mm. And then in 2005, a year before passing away, he was baptized by Pastor Scott Hindell of Community Bible Church. So that's just a little bit about his dad. I don't know anything about his mom. Because we don't have a ton of information on this dude, Virginia Benner. Dude. So, all righty. I heard the I heard the pastor saying lips from an angel as he was. It, it, it just sounded like Hinder. It's <laughs> so funny. Fuck like, yeah, dude. <sighs> so back to uh, Junior. Back to Glenn Lee Benner, our our main guy here. He was born in Akron, Ohio, September twenty fourth, nineteen sixty two. He was a oh, football shit. player, and uh, he was pretty well-liked in his middle-class neighborhood. Okay. Like, everyone, if you read those comments, everyone's like, man, I, I missed the days growing up with you. Was, you're such a good guy, a nice dude. So it is very weird how this turns out. I yeah. always liked him. I thought he was funny on Futurama. Fuck yeah, dude. Bender. Oh, wait, sorry. It's Bender. <laughs> so stupid, dude. You said, his, you said his dad died in 2006? Yeah. When was he born? Like, if that guy was born in 62, like, his dad would have been... When was his dad born? Yeah. Fuck. That, he would have had to been, like... Late like, you would think, like, 40. 30s or 40, 40, yeah. 41, maybe? He was yeah. a veteran of the Korean War, so... Mm. Yeah, damn. Who wasn't, you know? Um... So Glenn Jr. began abusing marijuana and alcohol at age 13, and it was said he tried to commit suicide at 17. Jesus, huh? Uh, He had a below-average intelligence. He experienced major depression, and he was prone to impulsive behavior that included a lack of anger control. Mm. Oh, so he's just one psychologist wrote. Just an Akron Browns fan, honestly. Yeah, dude. I'm fucking tired of fucking losing. (laughs) I love that video. Go on YouTube and type in Browns fan has had it. Yeah. 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 And this dude is walking out of the stadium, and he's holding his girlfriend or wife's hand, and you could just tell the tantrum building up in him. We're all (laughs) Feeling it like his whole body is shaking. <laughs> I'm fucking tired dude, of dude, fucking losing. So what about the guy who's like 50 feet in front of him and is just holding a camera phone toward him? Like, yeah, yeah I already know what's gonna happen <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, this guy's losing it. Like, yeah, you might as well just fucking record like anybody leaving a Browns game. Like, there's gonna be something funny, dude. I might have to watch that video again because, like, it's fucking if it's good. the stairs on the east side, it almost looks like he's walking to the game. <laughs> Fuck, imagine yeah. walking Here's to the knew. game and saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we playing? I'm sick. <laughs> Tired of fucking <laughs> losing. Uh, hey, were we playing a high school team? Yeah, you're no. playing the mascots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's here's some quotes from his ancestry or is it ancestry page? No, ancestry. Not, not ancestry. I'm sorry. Legacy. Why would it be fuck ancestry? Yeah. Here's what his fucking uh, his great <laughs> ancestor said. This guy is a fucking scrub ass. No. If you um, want to find my family, you just go to ancestry.com. <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. So here from legacy.com slash memorial is page. Uh, here's what someone named alan thomas said and i know as soon as i get to the very last name on here it's gonna fucking derail this again but here we go quote i moved to california in july 1977 
My last football and baseball seasons played in Ohio. I had the great joy of playing on the same team as Glenn. He played a pitcher and he played center field on Sawyer Wood team, on our Sawyer Wood team. And he was a great running back with my football team in Spring Hill. Bimbo, so everyone calls him Bimbo. Hmm. Bimbo was always kind and funny. I remember laughing a great deal more during those final seasons for me in Ohio. I join with all who have offered blessing, peace, joy, and comfort. Thank you, Bimbo, for the great memories I have of our times together. I will also pass the news along to my brother, David Snodgrass. <laughs> Wait, David, Snodgrass. what? David Snodgrass. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> why, I don't know dude? why I couldn't get through that, dude. Snodgrass is dude, so fucking, fucking funny, sweet, dude. dude. Dude, that's like the episode where he couldn't get past Doof getting oh, pants man. in the pump house. Oh, the fucking dude, yeah. Snodgrass tastes like Snodgrass. Snodgrass, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, what is he dead, too? I think he died this year, dude. Oh, uh, shit, dude. September 23rd, Sorry, 2024. Oh, man. What so was the, his brother's name? So what did we say? The Benner guy? Is his nickname Bimbo? Yeah. Bimbo Benner? <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, is that is he also gonna have a trilogy of movies after him where he's a hobbit? <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. No, I don't think he's that. I think this is someone else oh, okay. in Ohio. Oh, yeah, this dude's still alive, I hope. David Snodgrass. Hell yeah, dude. I think I know someone with that name. You do. Yeah, I've never heard. right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I'm sorry, Andrew Snodgrass. Like, smell? Like, come on. Uh, I really have never heard Snodgrass. That's a, that's a yeah. new one. Here's, uh, here's some a couple more. Uh, this is from Levi Lowe. Most people in Glenn's life know me also. I grew up with Bimbo, and we knew a lot of the same people. Bimbo and I shared our lives with each other, fears, and hopes. Did you just fart, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Andrew. It was Andrew. Uh, what other podcast? I can say what whatever other, I want, what and they'll believe it. podcast reads posts on memorials while ripping farts and laughing? <laughs> uh, to those who wrote to Bimbo, you truly helped change him in some small way to the man of God he became. Any of you who wrote to him in the last years of his life really met the bimbo I knew and I'm proud to call my friend and brother in Christ. I am also, I am now also a man of God and cannot wait to see my good friend bimbo again. Come the fuck on, dude. Name. If they have handball in heaven, I am sure we will play to our heart's delight forever in his arms, Levi Lowe. And then he gives his phone number and what? his full address. What, what the what? fuck, dude? Is that guy dead? So, I mean, and I'm only reading these not to have jokes. It's just to show that like people really do think of him as like a good guy and yeah. actually miss him and stuff. And then I got just one more to read okay. okay bim you may be gone <laughs> but you are a long ways from being forgotten bro can't say i don't miss you because i most certainly do you were a good guy and i only wish everyone could see and have met the guy i knew for if they had they would smile and a tear might fill their eye when your name was spoke and you were remembered that was okay. nice. Surely we would take back things and change the past if we could, but oh. somehow things happen for a reason according to his will and master plan. So remember that because a lot of people talk about like, you know what, I'm I'm sorry this happened, but things happened for a reason. Yeah. It sounds There's like it's multiple people that have said this is part of God's plan. I want you to remember oh, that. Fuck. Okay, what's there's, the plan here? <laughs> there's one more that you forgot here. I have oh. on my phone. Oh, what is it, dude? Um Hey, Bim, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the Cavs game on over there, and I just saw um, a Kamala Harris commercial. Oh, dude, yeah, and, I and made jokes about the way here. And the thing is, is like, um, I don't know who that is. For the people that don't, that aren't political and stuff, like, I, I don't really care too much about it. But, like, Hillary, when she lost the election dude, because so of the Pokemon Go joke. Yeah, dude. Trump comes out and does, like, that little hand dance thing. It, it fucking rolls. Yeah, he's well, winning. He added yeah. a golf swing to the end oh, of it, dude. Yeah, it's so dude. fucking it's, funny. That's game over. If Kamala came out and did something where, like, she walks on stage and just, like, even if she, like, stops and looks and, like, rips a little fart in her hand and yeah. goes, oh, oh. Anything like that, she would easily win my Dude, vote. Dude, I swear Do to God, something I'm, cool. I swear to God, I was thinking that she farts and like, like does like yeah. a little. Yeah, if yeah. she just did that, like, yeah, dude, like right some, before like, you said that, I was thinking about the same this, thing. Somebody's cooking. And she just said <laughs> oh, that. Dude, yeah. Did anything? <laughs> That's she a good would one. easily get a lot of idiots' votes. Like I would be yeah. like, that was yeah. funny. I oh, might yeah. vote yeah. for yeah. her. Yeah, because like seriously, the or else you'd be in jail. 
one. Yeah. That one in election. Yeah. Like if you did the, like we'll have a debate. His as soon dance. as the debate starts, he like holds out his hand. If she farted in her hand and yeah. held it out and like shake it now, pussy. Yeah. I swear oh, yeah. to God I, I would vote for I would vote, yeah. She could I, be like, Yeah, we're banning all podcasts. I'm like, Yeah, yeah. but you farted in your hand. All they yeah. have to do is do <laughs> one thing funny from now until then, they have my vote. Fuck like yeah, it really if she really did just fart in her hand and hold it up and be like, Remind you at home? Anything <laughs> like that. It doesn't even matter. Dude. Anything like Ugh. that. The some of these political commercials are like not out of hand, but like they're so funny. Like <sighs> Sherrod Brown wants to fuck dude, his transgender dude, kid. They're so good. And I'm like, dude, I kind of wish they just straight up would say like he yeah. wants to fuck your transgender <laughs> yeah. kid. Dude, they're, Brown dude, they're making so memes about it. It's so funny. Me. Yeah, like, Bernie Marino, he wants to kill your dude, transgender yeah, dude, kid. It's, and it's, Sherrod Brown wants to fuck him. <laughs> his picture. Oh, imagine yeah. him wanting to fuck trans kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's so fucking funny, dude. He just looks like a villain from Dexter's season, like eight. <laughs> Fuck does, yeah. Dude. No, there's one where, like, it's just like, dude, Sherrod Brown needs to start defending himself. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's none, like, him defending himself. You yeah. almost are like, all right, I'm going to vote for him just because yeah. someone needs to stand yeah, up for dude. this motherfucker. Dude, did he, like, kill himself and nobody knows? Because, like, <laughs> like dude, I would be getting so pissed. Like, here's oh, another man. fucking commercial about me fucking trans game. God there, damn it, another yeah. one? There's probably like, oh, oh, a fucking another one about me fucking <laughs> these trans boys. God Damn it! He's God like, damn it. every time he's trying to film one, he sees another one made about him. He's Fuck like, oh, we yeah. gotta stop recording, he's, guys. We gotta watch this one now too. He's like, hey, trans boy, stop sucking my dick real quick. There's, <laughs> there's oh, another dude. video about that. You, he's like really pissed off because like they got everything messed up because he's actually autistic and he meant to say, I love trains, bro. Oh, oh dude, hell yeah. yeah, dude. He said, now they all think I like trans, bro. It's probably illegal, but like it'd be funny if they just like made political commercials about like. I heard that that guy fucks mufflers. Yeah. Oh, Fuck Bernie yeah. Marino, you mean the muffler fucker dude, guy? I would vote for him, man. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, I'm like, oh yeah, he's got my vote. Yeah. He gets buttons, the muffler fucker guy. Uh, okay, we gotta get on with this. Yeah, so um, could you Google muffler fucker guy? No, because there's a picture. Check. Okay, so <laughs> some whenever we talk about the timeline, um, a lot of this timeline we we grabbed from the Akron Beacon Journal. Mm. So August 6th, 1985, there is a concert going on at Blossom Music Center at Cuyahoga Falls. Oh, shit. For those of you that aren't Ohio natives, it's an amphitheater and it has normal seating for like the main venue. But then there's also like the lawn areas where like thousands of people Didn't you can, play buy, there? can buy tickets and sit out in the lawn. What's up? Didn't you play there before? No, I played at Peabody's. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, the last yeah. thing you played at Possum. Yeah. Peabody's was cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, played, yeah, it's like a hill too, if that helps the visual. Played at Peabody's twice. Yeah, it, oh. it's um, Blossom's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, it's like Red Rocks, kinda. Hey, <laughs> it's not. It's not. Red it's Rocks not. is sweet. Dude. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying. I always to help. see Whiskey Myers playing there. Yeah, like I always yeah. see videos of them there. Bill Burr had a good stand up. Shout there. out to Wild Man Tony. Mm -hmm. So on this night we have George Thorgood or Thorogood. How do you say his name? Thorgood. Wait, dude. is that from Half Baked? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thurgood. <laughs> You're all the Mary Jane I'll ever need. <laughs> so good. But uh, I don't know how you say this dude's name, but he's fucking badass. He sings Bad to the Bone. Oh, nice. And who do you love, that guy? Okay. And I Drink Alone. Fucking aw awesome songs. Um, but yeah, Bad to the Bone, obviously, is probably most popular one that opening guitar riff honestly yeah, yeah. because of that song i have one of my most iconic oh. scooter videos dude, it so oh yeah good, two dude. riding in on a scooter where he's yeah. sitting on his ass <laughs> he's <laughs> sitting on the scooter riding in and he yeah. just there banana, banana, <laughs> that's, banana. it's one of my favorite things that's ever been <laughs> recorded, dude. it is just, one of my favorite just the shadow coming in and <laughs> just, dude, it's so fucking it's, good it, it like sucks because Everything that this guy does, oh boy, the second he does it, like, in like, I imagine, like, he gets a thought and then just fucking bad to the bone starts Dude, playing. Fuck Sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I was like researching this when Sarah was down here and I was explaining it to her. And like, I made it's a fucking horrible joke, oh, but yeah. I was telling her what happened. And I was like, Well, when that guy's on stage live playing bad to the bone, I was like, People are bound to get like killed and just have sex with us. I was like, If I were you, I would get out of the basement right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> yes. So anyways, the concert's going on that night, and uh, Glenn, he's there. He was at the concert with some friends, and, um, you know, you got Bad to the Bone playing, so sometimes fucked up things that you don't plan for might happen. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. But, 
I mean, not too often, but, but okay. Uh, we don't know what Glenn was thinking that night. Oh, <laughs> I know what he was thinking. But what we do know is that 26-year-old Cynthia Sedgwick oh, boy. and her three friends were also attending the concert. Uh, Cynthia's there. She's with her friends having a great time, having some drinks. And uh, she would later have said, she was later to have been said to be like, pretty tipsy like she was drinking and she would occasionally wander off from her friends and she like wander away they wouldn't see her for a little bit and then she would come back so that was happening all throughout the concert she was probably pooping and said, i gotta take a bit of a shit <laughs> and then uh glenn he was also at this concert accompanied by friends some of whom he worked with at a construction company so he's partying and having a good time and his friends remember seeing him talking with a girl that they would later say appeared to be fairly drunk or high. Okay. And then one of Glenn's friends, they look over and they see where Glenn was talking to this girl. And then all of a sudden, like he's talking to her in like the parking lot. And then he picks her up and just runs off into the woods holding her. What the fuck? Okay. Hurry, the song's coming on. (laughs) Since the day I was born. (laughs) I make a drunk. Never mind. Okay. So, yeah, it's pretty fucked up. His friends were very confused. Like, what the fuck is Glenn doing? So they go to follow after him. However, they're unable to locate him or the woman in the woods. He outruns them with her on his shoulders. The song. If the song's playing, dude, you have infinite power. That is kind of true. But the the song's still playing for them. They should have infinite power. It only works for Glenn. (laughs) (laughs) It's like the equivalent of when my brother stacks a game shark on another game shark. And you have double the codes, double the power. So good. Uh, Quote, (laughs) when the concert ended, Anthony, I don't know how to say his last name, Hohen, and another member of Glenn's group, Jeffrey Earhart, they saw Fuck him yeah. walk through one of the music center's parking lots and into the adjoining woods accompanied by the girl with whom he had been talking earlier. According to Earhart, he, quote, had his arm around her until he got to the parking lot, then he picked her up and carried her. Earhart testified that he and Hohen followed him into the woods but could not find him. They both testified that they called out for him in the woods, but they heard no response, and consequently, they both went home. Dude, Earhart's a fucking Wait, sweet name, dude. That's fucking weird. Like, so they just left their friend? He, they couldn't find him. They're yelling for him in the woods, trying to find him, wandering around. They didn't I'm like, not gonna lie. Like, if we went to like a Browns game and like Timmy wandered the fuck off, or we saw him run off, like I don't yeah. think I'd fucking leave if you, dude. We yeah, saw him, if appreciate we, it, man. Well, <laughs> the the fuck, if we dude? saw him carry a girl into the yeah. woods and we run after him and we're dude. yelling his name, we can't find him, dude. I'd probably call I, the cops, dude. I like, yeah, that like kind of if too. I do that, yeah. call the cops, dude. Like, is. Yeah. It depends. Is if she's like a like a two or a three, and you're taking one for the team, then, yeah. <laughs> then I call the cops because like yeah. they're my buddies out of dude, his mind. <laughs> dude, you got to know. You got one. If anything happens to him, just know he's a legend. He took one for the team. He Fuck carried yeah, the dude. two into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a math problem. Fuck so, yeah. Carry the two, but carry the two. subtract the three. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Tim, are you saying Tim's a three? Carry the two. We lost the three. Hey, three three's a little high, man. Oh, yeah. You know the two fours are alone in the truck. <laughs> Um, uh, Quote, the next day, Benner told Robert Tyson, a co-worker at the construction company, he says, hey, I killed a girl at Blossom last night. What, dude? I raped her and choked her to death. Jesus Christ. So he just straight up tells Robert Tyson this. Miles Tyson. Um, On August 7th, the day after the concert, Cynthia's purse was found in the woods surrounding Blossom. So they, they found her purse out there, but no yeah. body. Damn. <sighs> like, who, like, just, like, did he, like, I mean, they probably don't say, but, like, did he, like, really know that guy? Like, was he, like, his friend, or did, yeah, was he, he his he co-worker? Wor- he just worked co-worker? that dude and their yeah. friends. They, um, they have a little bit more history, we'll find out. Okay. That'd be like gotcha. Darren saying it to me. Yeah, like, dude, like, like, just comes into work, like, hey, I just killed this chick. Yeah, I quick. killed this chick. I choked her and raped yeah. her at the concert. Like, where, oh, it's in the bathroom right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, He's like, what can I say? I'm bad to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, August 12th, 1985. The nude, partly decomposed body of Cynthia Sedgwick of Cleveland Heights is found in the woods at Blossom Music Center by a parking lot attendant. Damn. So it took um, like a week to find her. What, the concert was on the 6th or the 5th? Yeah. So it took like six days or so for them to actually find her body. 
Jeez. Um, a Summit County deputy sheriff who was called to the scene shortly thereafter testified that a partial pack of Winston cigarettes was found near the body. Other testimony indicated that neither she or anyone in her group smoked Winston cigarettes. Robert Tyson testified, however, <laughs> that Glenn smokes Winston's. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Yeah, dude. Dude, uh, this dude ratting on his coworker. Yeah, fucking so hashtag wild, yeah. man. Oh, Fuck yeah, this that guy. is hashtag uh, wild, man. It was also testified that a knotted brassiere, a pair of socks tied together, and a tooth were found around the body. Fuck. Oh, that's like, and it wasn't her tooth? So, they don't say if it was hers uh, or his. I, I wasn't there. Whose tooth? No, the tooth. Yeah, the tooth, tooth was there sniffing her ass. <laughs> <laughs> I sniffed your ass on that Saturday night. I sniffed her ass on Saturday night. Dear Robert Tyson, though. Hey, actually, I know someone that smokes Winston's. <laughs> yeah. What if he didn't? He like didn't tell him that. Like he told him he killed her. He's just like. You know, I think he does smoke Winston. I think though. he does smoke Winston, yeah. dude. I think he ties socks too. Like, what are you <laughs> talking about, dude? He, I'm just saying, he's one of his yeah, hobbies. I've, just, I've seen him tie socks. I don't fucking know. So, um, here's a little bit of a, a wild twist. Um, oh shit, that was already wild. So, a lot of that information we got is from his friend and coworker Robert Tyson. Uh, he would later testify to all this stuff in court. However. Let's go ahead from the Blossom incident incident just like a little over a month. So that was in the middle of October or the middle and beginning of August. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead to September 26th. Okay. Glenn and Robert. Wait. They, so the body was found and that Tyson guy like told investigators that? He tells them later. Oh, okay. So, so later arrested? he will tell them. Okay. Okay. So, All right. However... Robert Tyson was told a month ago by Glenn that he yeah, raped and it. killed a girl. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a month later. Okay. A month later, Glenn and Robert entered the Akron home of Nancy Hale, which was located in a neighborhood where their construction had been working. Okay. Fuck. Yeah. They go inside her house. Glenn grabs her by surprise and then rapes her orally, anally, and vaginally. Jesus Christ. While he's raping her, Tyson is asking her for money. Fuck, Come dude. on, dude. Damn it, Tyson. Damn it. His name was Robert Tyson. <laughs> this is not even the name from uh, fucking uh, f a Fight Club. What oh, is it? shit. Okay. Is it Robert Paulson. Dude, yeah. I don't mean to laugh at this, but this is so fucking funny to me. Like, asking her for money then? Yeah. Like, wow. then? She's getting right. Like, she probably can't yeah. even hear you because she's fucking yeah. screaming, yeah. dude. Money. Also, the fucking money? why are you asking? Just take it. You're yeah, fucking dude. probably gonna murder her and kill her. So, what are you doing? He does, he does have a small... Can I use your bathroom? <laughs> he has a redemption arc right here. <laughs> does he? I don't know if it's enough to get him into heaven. We'll see. <laughs> um. So, after Glenn starts choking her... Tyson tells Glenn to let go of her neck. Jesus. And then they leave. So they didn't kill her? They oh. didn't kill her. Oh, that's good. He's like, hey, man, maybe you should stop choking her. Yeah. He's like, let's hey, get out of here. He's like, stop choking her because she has an answer if she got that money. Yeah. Out. Well, I checked the fridge. All the yeah. eggs are cracked. Let's yeah. go. He's like, I There's asked, fucking no good eggs in here. He's like, I asked her and, and I also didn't see it in the fridge. No string cheese. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, that's. <laughs> so. I don't know how what this relation is. Maybe they just know, know this girl. So they just oh, her, yeah. double go in her house. Dude starts bend her over, starts choking her. Yeah. Tyson's like, hey man, can I have some money? Where's man? your money? Can you have some money? Where's the money? Like, I'm pretty sure this is like a B and E or something, yeah. and like you're killing her. So yeah. what the fuck? Dude? Yeah, I don't know. If I was Glenn in that moment, which I, I don't want to be, I'm not being like, oh, I want to rape this girl. Nothing like that. Yeah, but yeah. I would be like Tyson, can you fucking get out of here for yeah, a little bit, dude? dude? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> like, can you not ask her right now? Uh, but no, Tyson uh, tells her, that's a stupid joke. I'm sorry. Uh, Tyson uh, tells him, like, hey, man, can we, let's stop joking. Let's get out of here. So they leave. Okay. Um, later on, though, after the police will pick him up, he will admit to raping her here. Okay. Oh, so he did too? No, he doesn't admit to that, but gotcha. he'll he'll have some other charges come later. Gotcha. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah this and this guy was cool. But like this dude's yeah. cool. Like it's hard to snitch on your friend and like yeah. honor to this guy for fucking like yeah, those are his cigarettes. Now it's just like I think you're snitching just to like get yourself out of it yeah, and like get immunity, exactly, you scumbag. Yeah. I don't know why, because yeah. I should have just expected this dark turn, but I thought it was just gonna be that one murder. 
Yeah, same yeah. Here. So this is a dude who keep him on all those religious messages. Yeah, on dude. This thing. That's why yeah. I didn't think it was gonna get that bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, quote on the evening of November nineteenth, nineteen eighty five, Shelley Powell, a University of Akron student, was jogging along Howe Road at Talmadge, Ohio. Suddenly, Powell was hit from behind and landed face down on the side of an embankment. She testified that her attacker told her to shut up, not to say anything, and not to look. The assailant then began to wrap tape around her head, covering her eyes. Powell stated that she was able to see her attacker's profile for around five seconds before he taped her eyes shut. So she fucking sees him. He's like, don't look at me. Close your eyes. Yeah. And she just sees him as he's taping <laughs> yeah, her Yeah, dude. Like, it's the fucking dumbass. It's not the fucking flash thing from Dumb... Or from... Uh, why did I say from yeah, Dumb and Dumber? From Men in Black. From Men in Black. I almost said oh, from yeah. Dumb and Dumber. It doesn't make oh, any yeah. sense. But yeah, she's Good. gonna remember. <laughs> Stupid joke. She was jogging on that road. How? Okay. Dude, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Ow. There's fucking Native Americans saying hi to her along the way. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's stupid. Um, the so she said that she was able to see the attacker for about five seconds before he taped her eyes shut. At the time, the assailant dragged her into the woods where he took off her shirt, her bra, and the tape around her eyes and what? then started to fondle her. What Come on, fuck? dude. Why what? did you He's tape her eyes, idiot, then? Dude. He then put his hand down her pants and stuck his fingers into her vagina. Okay. As he stood up and began to undo his pants, Powell tried to run away. However, the assailant pounced on her from behind and began to choke her with his hands. Okay. Powell then became dizzy and lost consciousness. Oh, that sucks. When Powell regained consciousness, she was lying naked in mud. She noticed that something was tied tightly around her neck and mouth, which impeded her breathing. She climbed up the embankment towards Howe Road and proceeded to a house nearby for help. Upon reaching the house, she was admitted by the occupants who called the Talmaj police. The officer responding to the call aided Powell and untied the knotted bra that was wound oh. tightly around her neck. Subsequently, Powell identified the appellant as her attacker, both at trial and in an array of photographs. Okay. So I wonder, did he probably think she was dead? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, because like if he choked her out and she was unconscious, like yeah, not too much difference. Yeah, stupid. Um, at this point, Robert Tyson would hear about Robert Tyson is just it always comes back to Robert Tyson. Oh, he would yeah. hear about the attack on the radio, Shit. and he heard about how a quote tall Modge jogger was attacked and raped. So he's like, well, I only know one dipshit that most likely did it. Fuck yeah, so it's he, not, I, I didn't do it this time. So but. he's like, primo. No, <laughs> he asked Glenn, and Glenn's like. Yeah, that was me. I was the attacker, but I didn't rape her. I, I ran into some complications. But yeah, I totally was the one that attacked her. Yeah, yeah, dude. So that's what he says. I raped her or I attacked her. I tried to rape her, but I didn't end up raping her. By I, I like, that's what me, he I says. that guy, but yeah. yeah. So he ran into complications, he says. So now a few months go by. It is now January 1st, 1986. Welcome to the new year. Okay. Trina Bowser, Jesus. a friend and neighbor from the same neighborhood, was visiting her friend Cheryl Leak. Cheryl would testify that Trina left her house at 9.45 p.m. that night, stating that she was tired and wanted to go home and get some sleep. Between 12.15 and 12.20 a.m. on January 2nd, Lincoln Skeen Jr. was driving home from work when he found Trina's car on the Akron Expressway and it was on fire. Oh, fuck. Quote, Skeen flagged down a truck to help put out the fire and afterwards phoned Bowser's residence. After Bowser's parents arrived on the scene, the trunk of the car was opened, wherein Bowser's corpse was found. Jesus. Her ankles were bound with curtain tiebacks resembling those from the appellant's new home on Butterbridge Road. In addition, Bowser's underpants and bra were tied around her neck, and her jeans were wrapped around her head. So. Wow. Yeah. This is a fucking good dude. Don't worry if he's, they're fucking playing heaven and handball right now, dude. Yeah, he's dude. Fucking- 
Well, what if that's the I, what if that is the only thing in heaven is just to play handball with this guy? Yeah, well, yeah, oh, you died too. <laughs> Hope you like handball. Long line. <laughs> Get in. Yeah, dude. We're gonna play. Hey, what sucks is he's the best guy at handball. You just have to fucking lose to this guy for the rest <laughs> of your life for like all of eternity. You waited fifty thousand years in line to lose to this fucking dude. <laughs> what the fuck? And he just puts handball? a bra on your head. When you I, lose? I've never played handball. Yeah, I don't though. even know what it is. So he just puts underwear and bras on people's heads when he's done with uh, them, or that's what he chokes them with, I guess. Them out or what? Yeah, okay. I don't know. And then Glenn, um, this dipshit must wait real quick. What if this oh, dude such stepped on my joke? But okay, that's uh, right. So what if this dude's such a loser? He doesn't know how to like unclip bras, so he just has to like pull them up, and that's <laughs> yeah, how he feels. Like, that's why they're always around their head because he tries to pull them I up. <laughs> I don't know how to unclip them. So, uh, so Glenn. As he, he leaves the crime scene and they were able to follow him because there's a set of footprints freshly made in the snow. Oh, fuck. So police are like, all right, well, let's follow the footprints. And that would lead them to Southwest Avenue, just north of Newton Street. And there we have Steven Weigand. He is the owner of Northeast Auto Shop. And he said that he saw a pickup truck with a shitty ass broken grill and it was parked in his parking lot at around midnight that night slash early morning. And then by 1.20 a.m. it was gone. So they trace the shitty truck back and find out that it belongs to Glenn. Hmm. So finally got it though. Like if you have like <clears throat> a vehicle with features that like stick out. Like Jason, rest in peace, JP, he would always yell shit out of this window. I mean, we all would, but he would like throw stuff and everything. Yeah. And it was like, it had a big red hatchet man sticker on it. It was Dude, the most so identifiable good. car. Yeah. yeah. So don't do shit like that if you're like, it's easy to identify. I mean, I, we would do stuff in my Kia, white Kia oh, that right. had the six Jokers cards on the back. <laughs> yeah, it's so Dude, good. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Love toilet paper gun. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. You know what, Kev, run in your card, Eminem, bitch. Fuck it. Why oh, not? we're going to tell the Eminem yeah, bitch Yeah, fuck story. it. Why not, dude? Yeah, dude, that one's so good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So, quote, the Summit County coroner testified that tests indicated the presence of sperm in Bowser's anus and vagina. Jesus. A criminalist employed by the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Identification and Investigation testified that the appellant could have been the source of the sperm. Wait, real quick. It was well, I'm in the middle of oh, the quote yeah, real quick, dude. It was also testified that fibers and a green paint chip were found on Bowser's coat and that fibers were found on and around her corpse. Okay, what you got, dude? These there was not sperm samples at any of the other spots? Like um, especially the first girl at the There Blossom? might have been possibly, yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, you'd think there was. What year was this? All happening? 86. Yeah, this, this one, one was uh, um, 86 or 87. Dude, I, I, I just fucking never know when they started having DNA. Like yeah, when like science yeah. actually began. Kind yeah. Because yeah. they would save it before they knew they could, or before they were able to like test yeah. it and stuff. <laughs> but then I worked there and I kept eating the samples. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah fuck yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> it's good protein. If you're hoping that uh, Robert the fucking snitch Tyson was gone... I have some excellent news. He's back. Hell yeah. Good. Yeah. Quote, shortly after the murder of Bowser, Robert Tyson phoned the police and stated that he knew who the perpetrator of the murders of Sedgwick and Bowser were, and he knew about the attack on Powell. After Tyson met with the coroner and several detectives, he told them of the Hale rape also. On January 10th, 1986, both Tyson and Glenn were taken into custody by the Akron police. That same day is when Glenn would confess to the hail rape. Did she not, like, report it? Oh, oh my God, Jesus, dude. dude. Andrew's fucking ripping ass in there. Um, I don't know. I don't know if she did and didn't know who it was, maybe. Yeah. But, yeah, dude, I it's, love that Robert is always, like, so fucking quick to be like, I, I know exactly who This guy's was. such a fucking idiot. Hey, retard he's gonna testify against you too yeah like you did it also <laughs> yeah like that'd be like we robbing a bank and be like yo kev robbed a bank just so you guys know kevin robbed it yeah yeah he's gonna fucking say i did it with him because i yeah. did how do you know well i it was kind of my idea and i i yeah, was, was the there. getaway driver yeah. and it was <laughs> yeah. my gun how'd uh, you know I, how'd you know we, how'd you know he raped her well my <laughs> dna is there too that's my sperm <laughs> Fuck, yeah, yeah that's awesome but yeah like she saw him the the first girl so yeah you would think that she might have been able to i mean nothing again 
against her, but I'm just saying you think she might have been able to like oh, no, uh, I, have like a description of him. And he's like he's like telling the police all stuff, but it's like yeah, I know, I know that he, that he's the one that raped her because I was there. Like oh, well, what are you doing during yeah. it? Oh, I was trying to get to rob money. I was trying <laughs> yeah. to steal from yeah. her. Yeah. He's like, what were you doing? Uh, she had a. GameCube and yes. fucking, I was just playing Melee. I don't know if you noticed the ha- <laughs> the really nice handles on the back of GameCubes. It makes them very easy to just carry around. <laughs> <laughs> they, all right, it's my lunchbox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this guy's a fucking idiot, dude. Yeah, dude like, he's if you did it worse than Glenn, kinda. <laughs> he's a I've, snitch I've and a better. rapist. Like, come on. Uh, at least Glenn was like, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to rape people. Uh, so quote on January twelfth and fourteenth, nineteen eighty six. Police executed warrants to search his re- to search Glenn's residence on Broadview Road and his new home on Butterbridge Road and his truck. Fuck yeah, dude. Butterbridge is sweet. Yeah, that does sound cool as fuck, dude. They, the executing officers seized clothing, vacuum sweepings, dryer lints, carpet fiber samples, and two chips of green paint. On the clothing and the dryer lints and the vacuum bag, <laughs> blue acrylic fibers and green nylon fibers were found at the same time. I'm sorry, I got hiccups. Same characteristics as those fibers found on Bowser's body and coat. Mm. On some of the clothing, white f- fibers with the same characteristics of the fibers in Bowser's fake fur coat were also found. Damn. I got two dumb ones. Yeah. So there were green fibers found on Bowser. Oh, was Luigi there? <laughs> dude, yeah, I was waiting for a Mario <laughs> joke, yeah. dude. And the last one is, dude, since it's in Ohio, imagine the road getting slippery and someone's like, holy shit, it's so... S-, or, like, snowing and ice. Oh, and someone's yeah. like, dude, it's so slippery on Butterbridge Road. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah, I fell and slipped on Butterbridge Road. What do you fucking expect? Yeah. <laughs> it ain't Sandpaper Road. <laughs> uh, also seized at the Broadview residence were newspaper clippings about the Hale and Bowser crimes. However, his sister Glenn testified that she was the one that clipped those stories. Wait, what's this that mean? sounds like something my brother would have done. Let me go ahead and cut that out of the newspaper. <laughs> I don't yeah. know why she would clip those. I yeah. don't know. Makes sense. Um, now we come to January 21st, 1986. Glenn would be indicted by the grand jury on 22 counts, including the aggravated murders of Cynthia Sedgwick and Trina Bowser. And it's a lot of shit that he's getting hit with. Each murder has a bunch of other counts added to it. And also, there's two counts of attempted aggravated murder for the attack on Shelley Powell. Two counts of attempted aggravated murder stemming from the Nancy Hale assault. Six counts of rape. Three counts of kidnapping. And one count each of aggravated burglary, felonious sexual penetration, gross sexual imposition, attempted rape, and aggravated arson. Damn. Dude, a lot of shit. 12 days of Christmas. And stealing fresh fruit from the vendor. Oh, dude, you better not have. And um, and this is kind of interesting. Quote, on January 23rd, 1986, he entered pleas of not guilty to all the charges. Mm. Jesus. But after the trial, court denied his motion to sever the counts. He waived his right to trial by jury and elected to have his case tried by a three-judge panel instead. Mm. Well, that's, I don't know. That's a possible thing. That's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. It's like the boxing voting thing. Fuck yeah. I think he landed 167 punches. You know what? <laughs> I think he landed 184 rapes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Damn. Final judge. Well, who do you think it is? It was Benner. <laughs> All righty. So here's some more details from the actual court documents. Um, Did they both do not guilty? Or is that just the one? Well, he hasn't been uh, tried for oh, anything okay. yet. Yeah, we'll get there. Uh, so from the um, appeal, the Court of Appeals for Summit County, on the night of August 6, 1985, Cynthia Sedgwick and three friends attended the George Thorogood concert at Blossom Music Center. While she was in what was described as a tipsy condition, she wandered away from her companions several times. Defendant appellant Glenn Benner II also attended the concert accompanied by a group of friends, some of whom worked with him for Michael's Construction. One group, one of the group with appellant Anthony Hohen testified that he saw uh, Glenn talking with a girl who was fairly drunk or high. So that was our quote from earlier. Yep. Um, these are his friends that were with him pretty much are all uh, testifying against them. Um, Earhart would say that, quote, he had his arm around her until he got to the parking lot. Then he picked her up and carried her into the woods. Um, they looked for him. They could not find him. 
And then the next day is when uh, Robert Tyson, his coworker, when he tells him that he killed a girl at Blossom and that he raped her and choked her to death. So very crazy stuff. Yeah. Um, so here we go. The trial would commence on April 7th, 1986. During the course of the trial, the plaintiff, the state of Ohio, presented the testimony of 30 witnesses. I don't why I don't even know why you need like all these. Um like how is the I don't know. I just, like I said, the defense has a lot of guy like he has a lot of people rooting for him somehow. Yeah. And pulling for him. I I, I don't know how. I like um, how like the they're like, Yeah, he raped her. Yeah, I saw him rape her. Yeah, I saw him rape her. Yeah, he raped me a lot. And the defense is like, he's good at handball. And the other guy's like, He's the best handball player I know. He <laughs> wouldn't about, do that. Innocent. Handball. So the appellant was subsequently found guilty of all the remaining charges except for the second of the two counts of attempted aggravated murder stemming from the hail assaults. Um, yeah, we'll just go to the end. He gets found guilty on 17 counts. It only took three hours of deliberation. And they're like, yeah, dude, you're fucking guilty. Death. So they're going to oh. sentence him to death. Okay. Wow. Um, as for Robert Tyson, he yeah. gets sentenced for a minimum of five to 25 years for burglary. However, he would only end up doing a little over three years. Oh, come but, on, dude. dude. This dude's a, a fucking rat, years, yeah. dude. Which, like, if if he went in before, like, he was raping her and just, like, asked for the money and stuff, okay, fine, I get that. Yeah. But, like, dude, you watched him rape her. Like, come on, man. He knew about the fucking murders. There, There's a point in uh, July 25th, 2003, where Benner, he's, like... All right, I can I can prove it. I'm gonna submit my DNA for testing. Yeah. Okay. And like okay, and he does, and they're like oh yeah, this just proves you killed her. <laughs> what a fucking. <laughs> He's like I fuck. Mean, you, you said in the beginning these dudes are like idiots or low intelligence or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. I'll submit my DNA and prove it. Oh yeah, it does prove that you killed him. So yeah. that you killed her. It's Wait. Shit. You said Glenn did that? Yeah. Oh dude, I thought you were saying fucking Robert did. That. I was like fuck. No, did Glenn he? did. Yeah. Glenn oh, okay. submitted his DNA. Gotcha. Um, between 1987 and 2005, anytime he tried to appeal to state and federal courts, all of them would get denied. Yeah. Um, January 24th, 2006, parole board holds clemency hearing. No one speaks on his behalf. Fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Wild, man. Dude, that's like me going to like a little dick competition to prove I don't have one and getting first <laughs> place. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, February 6, 2006, yeah. Governor Bob Taft expected oh. to agree with Fuck parole yeah. board and deny clemency. So clemency is mercy or leniency. Mm -hmm. And um, they're like, yeah, pretty much fuck this, like, dude. Nah, dude. Okay, good. Uh, the next day, here's a quote. A serial rapist and murderer described by one victim's family member as a wicked angel of Satan was executed this morning. So Glenn L. Banner II would die by lethal injection February 7th at 10.15 a.m. At, at the Southern Ohio Correctional Facility near Lucasville. Mm. Um, Benner, he appealed numerous aspects of the trial, claiming ineffective lawyers and misconduct by prosecutors, but none of that's going to help him. He even agreed to DNA testing at one of his legal challenges, and that's when they were like, oh, yeah, this clearly shows that you raped and killed Bowser, you fucking idiot. Yes, You're like, why, dude? So why would he think on. that? He's like, one last wild, yeah. I got one last wild yeah. card up my sleeve. Dude, I mean, at that point, what if it worked, though? Yeah, because he has no other chance, so at that point, might as well try it. They're like, yeah, the uh, the results came back. It wasn't you. He's like, yeah. He's like what? wait, what the fuck? He does, yeah, he does that Eddie Murphy thing from uh, Bowfingers. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> dude. dude he tries to do the uh if the glove does not fit thing but he like tries to like secretly rape her again he's like let me put my penis there let's see if it fits yeah, yeah, see. i'm just saying we should dig her up and try it again fuck <laughs> see if it works <laughs> if the dick does not fit you yeah, must quit, quit. <laughs> dude what was i think it was like that pied piper guy we did the episode on where he yeah it was because he like beat that girl like her head in with a rock oh shit and then like I th they buried her or whatever, and they they end up finding her body. But he's like, yeah, I, he's like, no, I didn't crush her skull. Like, go look, like that'll prove that I'm innocent. He fucking did crush her skull. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, dude, why would you even try that? Dude, hell yeah. Um, let's see. You guys want to know what his final meal was? Oh, dude, Quick fuck guess? yeah, yeah. What do you think it was, Andrew? What do you got? Oh, Wait, spaghetti and chicken. <laughs> spaghetti yeah, and chicken. Dude. That'd be a good one. Okay, what's your guess? Like you know those people that can make like decorative cakes that look real. 
Yeah. yeah. His is a pack of Winston cigarettes. Fuck. And they're like, oh. you just want to eat cigarettes? He's like, cut it with a knife, see if it's real. I'm like, what? Oh. And they cut it like, holy shit, it's chocolate cake. Dude, that's what sweet. What if he invented, like, the ca- is it cake? <laughs> Fuck like, yeah. Right before dying, right before <laughs> lethal injection, he invented, is it cake? Dude, that's sweet. <laughs> Dude, I'm... I- I'm guessing it's it's probably like McDonald's or something. He's like the he like yeah. I don't know. It's gonna be a dumb joke. It's gonna be like he invents is it cake, and they're all like, oh my god, this guy maybe maybe he's all right. This is a very good idea. And then he tries to invent is it rape, and then they kill him. Oh, oh dude, god, dude, dude, it, is, uh, it is it is still <laughs> rape, dude. You're you had us with the is it cake, <laughs> yeah, and then dude. we lost. Before you uh, read it, yeah. what would your guess would have been? I know you know. My but... guess, dude, they all always get fried chicken. Oh, okay. Oh, they always yeah. get like an entire bucket of fried chicken. Oh, okay. This guy, but keep in mind, they eventually got rid of the final meal, I'm pretty sure, because oh. people kept abusing it like crazy. And like what? Like, like, how, like, like, like lobster it how? and stuff? Like or? they would get like eight, like... Three large pizzas and all the shit, and then they wouldn't eat any of it, and it was starting to piss people off. Dude, why? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Well, that's ruining. on them. Don't fucking give them three yeah. large pizzas, but well, like you get uh, a medium, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Four bacon cheeseburgers. Dude, fuck yeah, I knew it was McDonald's. On toasted buns. Okay. With green peppers, tomatoes, pickles, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. Hmm. He also wanted a baked potato with butter and sour cream. French fries, onion rings, macaroni and cheese, a chef salad with Italian dressing. Dude, there's no way. Blueberry pie with chocolate ice cream, iced tea, and a Coke. Oh, he the, did not fucking eat dude, all that. Dude, there's no fucking there's way. There's no dude. way he ate all that. As fucked up as it sounds, we should do something like if you order like 10 large pizzas and you eat it all, you're free to you're go. You're free, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. Unless you're fat. If you yeah. can, there's if, a weight limit to like it. if you can like defeat like the melt challenge that they used to have like <laughs> any if you can beat any challenge on man versus food you're Fuck free yeah dude, yeah, <laughs> dude what, what about the ha- murderer rapist versus food <laughs> that'd be a sweet <laughs> show yeah that would be sweet what's the pizza place that 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 you hate. Uh, Denell's. Yeah, dude. What if they're like, oh, like, okay, like you wouldn't no. ever do anything where you'd be on death row, but say you did. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, all right, you have to eat like three large pizzas of Denell's. I I could maybe uh, eat one if like in that moment my dad's spirit Fuck helped it. me out. Dude, talking. his spirit. Say shit, Kev. They say shit, son. <laughs> his spirit you comes through you. <laughs> yeah, he. Fuck, I I get disqualified because his ghost shows yeah. up and eats it all. Dude, his, ghost, <laughs> his, his, fuck, his ghost shows up, eats it all, and asks for more. Dude, he's like, man, this say shit. I used to do this every Friday night. He's like, this ain't nothing, boy. And then he shows up. I'm there with my mom, and he starts eating the pizza that he's eating her out. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Dad, where'd you go? I thought you were going to help me. And I just hear my mom moaning in the corner. <laughs> Your mom doesn't listen, does she? She does support us on Patreon. Yeah. You will be getting a shout out, and you will be doing Spectrum. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I was going to crack a joke, but no, say it's, it dude. it's really just him ribbing her, and he's still saying that this ain't shit, Kev. This ain't shit, Kev. Look at me. You watch me, boy. This ain't shit. You see this? She don't mean shit. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see. A quote. Um... Benner admitted eventually committing horrific crimes. He said that he was under the influence of drugs when he did these. He refused to ask for his life to be spared because he said the process does not consider whether a person changes in prison. He smiled at relatives and nodded toward the victim's families when he entered the execution oh, chamber. Dude, just don't even nod. It, it does say like he told the families, like he talked to one of the victims, like sis, like brothers or something, and like answered all their questions and like told them everything that happened. I mean, it's still sh- yeah, dumb, but a lot of times they don't talk to any. Of yeah, them. Oh, okay, uh, dude. We got his final words. Also, yes, my uh, my last meal is gonna be. I'm like bring the guy in. How I want to make my food. I'm like who? I'm like you know who. <laughs> Make sure he's barefoot and he has the towel over his fucking. (laughs) Make sure he has the towel over his lap, and I want as many large bowls as possible. I literally, they like give me like the biggest Uh, bowl ever, and I take one sip and start dying. Yeah, yeah, that's how they kill you. Indian street food. You throw it on the bars, and it fucking eats through it. You escape. <laughs> Dude, it's like Shawshank instead of climbing. They're like, oh, we must have climbed through the shit tunnels. Like, I was like, shit tunnels. That's just the pipe we used to hold the Indian food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, the only thing that can hold the Indian food is that, dude. Uh. All right. So here's his final words Quote, I just need you to give me two seconds. I've been going over and over in my head trying to think of the words I can say to you that would ease the unimaginable pain that you have been going through for 20 years because of my actions. I'm sorry. 
Trina and Cynthia were beautiful girls who didn't deserve what I did to them. Did to them. They are in a better place. Words seem so futile. All I can say is I'm sorry. <clears throat> May God give you peace. <clears throat> yeah, I mean. I don't like the beautiful part. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, yeah it's beautiful. Like, he starts singing that. They were so fucking hot. Uh, no, yeah, maybe beautiful. don't say that. Dude, like, I feel like it's better just to not say yeah, anything. Just like, <laughs> Dude, just, just like, like I'm a monster. I deserve to die. Yeah. Like, like, leave it at that. Yeah, like, don't even cry. bring their names up. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, if anything, that just pisses like the family off more. Yeah, it pisses me off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. I mean, there's nothing you're going to say that's that's going to yeah. make them feel just, better or anything. I just, mean, you raped and killed just them. Just straight up just say, like, like dude said, just, I deserve this. Like, that's the best thing you could possibly He just starts... Say. He puts his head down and he starts making noises. <laughs> 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 well, if he's like, yeah. They should have played that while they <laughs> yeah, the next dude, He might have actually powered up and yeah, broke dude, out. If he's, they he's like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking... Dude, he, like, they keep trying to electrocute him. He's like, this isn't doing <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> it's, it's turning the yeah. music up somehow. Yeah. The like, music's getting louder. They're they're trying to do the lethal injection and they can't poke through his skin. Yes. It's an incredible haul. What if he, like, at the end of his letter, he just end it with i'm so sorry have a historical day <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah dude uh bradley bowser one of trina's three brothers who witnessed the execution said softly that won't get you into heaven ace oh that was a fucking pretty badass wall, thing. That's pretty yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's sweet um after the execution 13 of trina bowser's family members criticized the law allowing only three people for each victim to witness the executions and lashed out against death penalty opponents Wait, they wanted more people to watch. Um, like a pay per view. They only let th- they only let three people for each victim witness it. Uh So and she's got. Just thought they more. She's people. got. Uh, yeah, they had a bunch of family members that wanted to be there, but only uh, three of them were allowed. See, I don't, I don't know. I guess. I mean, I hope I'm never in that situation, but I don't know if I'd want to watch. Yeah, same here. I yeah. don't yeah. think I want to. Honestly, I don't think I'd want to even see his face. Maybe even. Yeah, if they could like black everything out except for like his butthole and like yeah. nuts. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. That. Wouldn't yeah. it be cool to watch his butthole <laughs> tighten up and his nuts just bounce around? Yeah, let's look that up. Does anything happen to your butthole and I nuts? Think, uh, I think you poop, don't you? Yeah. Um, Does God. your butthole and nuts explode during an uh, electric chair? <laughs> no. <laughs> it ha- it's the only thing that does. Yeah, but only if you don't wet the ass yeah. plug. Fuck oh, it. they do plug them. What if Google just said no to? Because they just yeah, fucking... Like, God damn it, too. They know you're the only one that would Google that. <laughs> yeah, why do inmates always urinate Like, you have to wet the sponge and lube the butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> dude, uh, they piss themselves and get a butt plug. That's so dude, fucking funny. Of course, funny. Course they yeah. piss themselves. Did they, w- the butt plug, I didn't know. That's what, funny. Yeah. What do they do to uh, Ted Bundy? Like they did something like on purpose, like torture him or whatever. I think I don't remember. Oh, yeah. it's the hot sauce butt plug, <laughs> dude. Fuck I mean, yeah! I've seen dude. the after picture of him, but I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, what I, it was. the Carolina I, Reaper butt plug. They, dude, <laughs> holy shit! They gave him dude. brown season tickets. <laughs> <laughs> they stuck it up his ass. They made him give. <laughs> they, <stuck him laughs> <up his> ass. <laughs> they made him give Deshaun Watson a massage. Oh hell yeah! They're dude. like, you know what? Fuck it. You're on hook for the contract now. And he's yeah, like, fuck I'm fucking yeah. ruined. Ruined. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got one last quote thing here. Those who feel sadness for Glenn Benner should know their comments are meaningless to us because you have not suffered the heart-wrenching loss and ongoing nightmare of a loved one being brutally murdered. That's what Scott Bowser, Trina's nephew, said, who read a statement from the family. Death penalty opponents typically protest at the prison during executions, and dozens of them were outside on Tuesday, the day that he was executed. And he was the 20th man Ohio has executed since resuming the death penalty in 1999. Oh, shit. And that is the case of Glenn, what was it, Lee Benner? Was it Benner or Brenner? Benner. I already Benner. fucking forget. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know who this woman was. Who wrote, like there's like 130 comments and probably 100 of them are from someone named Hillary Hughes. Mm-hmm. Okay. However, I'm pretty sure she wrote the obituary because it says Glenn L. Benner II, dearly loved friend of Hillary Hughes, and then in parentheses, Ireland, entered okay. into eternal life on February 7th, 2006. Dude, like he fucking raped and murdered That's like you if know. I died yeah. and it doesn't say anything. It's like Kevin Green passed away. 
um, friend of two. Yeah. Like, what? I mean, that, that is what it's going to say. <laughs> just that's, that's, that cool, yeah. that's what we're putting. Yeah. Um, friend of Deshaun Watson. Friend of Deshaun Watson. <laughs> I swear Watson. to God, I'm doing that. So I don't know who the Hillary Hughes lady is. However, there's on the, like the uh, legacy, whatever it is, mm. like so many comments from her, like easily 100 plus, like every anniversary, every birthday. Oh my God. She says happy birthday to this fucking loser. February 7th, 2024. Thinking of you today, our journey continues. A year before that, February 7, 2023, we used to laugh about when I would be 80 and you would be 60. Well, I am now 80 and our journey continues. She, wait, she can use a computer? Every year. Another year has passed and your story is still touching lives. How? What the fuck? Whose lives? Wait, what story? What story? The rape? Fucking members of ISIS? Like, who's <laughs> fucking lies? What again? fucking story is she talking uh, about? The rape story? <laughs> Your story brought Deshaun Watson to Cleveland. Uh, dude, that... <laughs> holy shit, dude. It is 15 years since you left, and what a year it has been. But all is well, and all manner of things are well. Our journey continues. No, dude. His journey what ended the... like a fucking loser. Does she, like, think he's innocent, maybe? The, the, I, I don't know. I think she dated he, him, maybe, even though yeah. the age thing is kind of different now. Yeah, yeah. So that means like he, when he was like 20, she was Dude, 40 or something. What if she dated him when he was like 10? <laughs> no, Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this dude's a fucking loser. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, dude, I... Dude, I'm going to do everything I can to become a mod on this website and just delete her comments. Dude, they yeah, have dude. to delete all the negative... There's not a... I went through uh, every one. There's not a single negative comment, dude. Which, I mean, I guess... Play Every their birthday. hand. Just comment Deshaun Watson and see if they delete dude, it. Dude, my fuck. uncle's yeah, dude. page was sweet, dude. They had like a lot of people. Did, that were did it somebody that like he like applied for a job or yeah, whatever? They're yeah, like, I wouldn't hire this murderer. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm not hiring this guy. He's a murderer. That's so fucking good. He's yeah, <laughs> yeah like, dude. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, like that's hashtag walking oh, for yeah. sure. I'm not hiring this murderer. Well, he's dead, so you don't have to. God, I was thinking about like the political commercials. Like, what if political commercials never used to be like really like hateful or nasty to each other? They're like. Yeah. You know, these are my policies, and this is what I'm going for. Yeah. And, like, all of a sudden, for, like, the Trump-Kamala Harris one, they're like, uh, whoever loses the election has to take on the Deshaun Watson contract. Dude, and they're like, he's a yeah. fucking... He's a murderer. He rapes dogs. Fuck, like, fuck yeah, this dude. fucking guy. Do I do not want uh -huh. Deshaun Watson? <laughs> dude, hell yeah. Like, yeah I, this, I always like Baker. <laughs> I, have this video, I have this video of him raping a dog, and it's just, like, them in a mask. I said, I'm going to go on my uncle's and see if there's... Uh... Dude, what if there's just like a hashtag wild man on there? Oh, that'd be good. Oh, my God. Dude. Kev, what would you rather have? The Sean Watsons. What's he make now? 70 million a year. Something like that. Would you rather have an infinite Deshaun Watson contract? Like he lives forever and he has to get paid 70 million every year on the Browns or you have to eat Indian food. A uh, oh, big bowl of dude. Indian street food. Dude, if we could just like make There's that, if we can make that trade never happen, I'll eat a bowl of it. <laughs> like, dude, I will, I'll do it. Shit, dude, the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, That's the most heroic thing I've ever heard. Yeah, <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, dude, if we, if we can make that not happen, I'll do it. <laughs> I would just have to like not see like where it came from and shit, but I would do it. Yeah, they got to go through and delete all the bad ones because I didn't see any that time. Uh, from, about your uncle? Yeah. Wait, were there good ones? They were all mostly like about my aunt. Oh. Uh, mm. your, your aunt's still alive, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Where's the other? Here, I think this is his LinkedIn. Look, please be his LinkedIn page, dude. dude oh, I can't get on there. Is this like fuck. everyone's obituaries you can like look and comment on? Like, what side is this? This might be fun to troll on. That was that legacy one, but there's fuck like no yeah, bad ones on there. Yeah. Um, no, this isn't him. This is a different one by the same name. Holy shit. Dude, when Condado fucking dies, I'm dude. gonna fucking comment, but like he answered the phone every time for dude, me. Fuck yeah, dude. That's still so Don't good. Don't fucking delete it. He answered. Uh, so alrighty, that is everything for our uh for our episode. Um anything you wanna say, anybody, before we do our Patreon shout outs? That one's fucked up. Yeah. Fucked up. Yeah. Brenner, oh. super loser. Uh Tyson, pretty big loser still too. Yeah. Like he, I, he's that kid from recess who snitches. Yeah, I feel like he could have uh, had like Randall. hashtag. Yeah, he's Randall. He could have had hashtag wildman moments and he just didn't. 
Alrighty, so if you enjoy what you heard, we have a Patreon. We do it every week. We do a bonus episode. It's about 45 minutes to an hour long or so. And it's a little more uh, rowdy and raunchy. We sometimes just talk on random funny shit, but they're always, they've are always they always been pretty fun so yeah, far. We, so smack, we smack our buttholes. We around. smack our buttholes. We fart into our hands and pass them around to each other. Yeah. There is a reason we don't do video for it. It's because usually we take off our shirts. It's really hot down here, and we yeah. just take off our shirts We chip dip each other's titties. It's yeah. so much oh, yeah. fun. We play whose dick is this, and we just <laughs> grab a dick from under the table, and we're like, <laughs> I think yeah. that's two. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So if you want to get a shout-out at the end of our episodes, all you got to do is sign up for our Patreon. It is uh, $2 or $5 a month. You get our weekly bonus episodes, and you get our special shout-outs. So here we go. Shout out to our boy Australian Daniel. Oh, yeah. We're gonna fly through these quick today. So I'll say the name if you guys want to cheer and say point whatever at, you want. Point at me. I want to do so, a certain someone's Austin's. Okay. <laughs> we have Deus X Vagina. Dude, yeah. Oh yeah, love him. Missy Goldstein. Goldstein. Yeah. Kevin Grenier. The real Kev. However the fuck you say. I, I need someone to Grenoir. tell me. Now. We got Kaza <laughs> London. Kaza. Hell yeah. Kaza London. Peyton Blackburn. Oh, dude. Pirate name. Grace Kearney. Fucking Grace. Felipe Juarez. Love it. This one needs no... It's Moth. It's dude, Moth. Y'all know so, who dude, it is. Somebody tell us who the fuck uh, Moth is. Yeah, so Regan good. Paris. Regan. Nice. Joshua Mendoza. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Caleb H. Caleb H. Nice. W. Bush. It's so good. Yeah. Sarah Jenkins. Yeah. Hell yeah. Ruben. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> dude oh, yeah. <laughs> Conan Baldwin. <laughs> Dude, that nice. name's so sweet. Sheba. That's Y'all right. know who that is. Love you, Mom. Sorry about the stuff I said earlier. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not. We got Liz Stronghand. Yeah, been, yep. been around the fucking whole time. Tim Prime. Oh, Who's, yeah. Who the F is that guy? I don't uh, know. Some idiot. Hugo Stiglitz, which, <laughs> Stiglitz, dude, which oh, yeah. I was Fucking messaged by Deus Ex Vagina because he's German. Yeah. This is a dude. This is a character on Inglorious Bastards. Fuck yeah. Oh, I just dude. watched it last night. Really? Yeah. Is it Ring a Bell, Hugo Stiglitz? I skipped through the movie. I was just. Well, how I do you skip? Dude, oh, okay. a... I can't get started on this. I'm going to get pissed. You <laughs> s- okay. <laughs> Our boy Jordan Rice. We play the Ravens this oh. week. Yeah, Jordan. Hey, sucks for dude, you. They're hey, losing. We're don't lose. rub it in, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, what's it like having a fucking running back for a quarterback? Yeah. Hey, we're already <laughs> sick and tired of fucking losing. Hey, we haven't I, played the I, game yet. Oh, please trade us. Please. <laughs> hey, Jordan, how's it feel to lose to Jameis? Oh, you'll know in about one day. Oh, oh yeah, fuck dude. yeah, dude. There's no uh, way. <laughs> There's no way. You know, I, would, uh, God, I, would I don't even want to win, dude. I want to just keep losing. Kind of, yeah. All right, two for your turn, buddy. Oh, is this a boy, Austin? Oh, fuck yeah. Austin. Is this his last name there? Should Stevens. I? Oh, yeah, Austin yeah. Stevens. What's up, dude? Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks I'm for surpri- supporting, brother. I'm, I'm surprised you're so excited to shout him out because we kicked you I off the take, podcast. Yeah, dude, he's him. taking yeah. your spot. He deserved it. Primo. I think you know who to shout out next. Uh, shout out to Trin. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. yeah. Thanks for signing up. Jordan Thompson, my dude. Fuck yeah. Now, here's someone you might know. He's normally here. It's fucking Corn Shirt. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. That's his name on there. Corn oh, that's that's so good. We also got JT. JT, JT Burns. Huh. Dude, is who is that? No. I don't want to say, but it is that name. No way. Okay. Last Wait. name, not first name. Wait oh, okay. All right, real yeah, cool. Okay. All right. And then we got one more. Rob. Oh, fuck. I'm going to fuck this up. Polanco. I'll fuck you. Oh, okay. So, yeah. uh, so thank you everyone for signing up for our Patreon, supporting us. Yeah. We just broke a hundred dollars. We don't. I don't know what we're doing for that yet. Yeah, we really should have probably but made something. Once we get to three hundred, we are a third of the way. Tooth will be filming the snail scene from Deuce Bigelow, which we will just be doing on one of our phones. Probably. Dude, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, we'll that's, edit that's it. Fine. We'll try yeah. our best. I'll Spence, do it good. Spence could edit it, and make it nice if he wants yeah. to. If you want, I can send you the have sex video. Have sex. Oh, that's dude, great. That's so yeah. yeah, send us you, that. You can throw that up we'll there. put that up. And then you have the bad to the bone scooter video. We yeah, can put that dude. up. Okay, dude. I, it's somewhere in the Snapchat if you like scroll up oh, fucking, I, like, I five years. Phone. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. <laughs> so, all righty. I guess uh, I think that's everything, right? Did we miss anything? Thank you, everyone, for listening and supporting the show. It really helps us out. Um, if you really love us and want to help support it even more, you can share this on social media, send it to a friend, just post it, and I will <coughs> I'll repost it on Instagram if you tag us in that. Oh, yeah. 
Um, the only way for us to grow is to um, just spread the word. Spread your spread your butts. Oh, yeah, we'll dude. spread our butts. You spread the words. Oh, spread yeah. the turds. Dude, at five hundred, I'll spread my butt. Actually, uh, I'd probably do it right now. Honestly, yeah, but. let's do it. All yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, shout out to everyone that uh, sends us messages. I, I love getting them. It's been yeah. great. You guys have been awesome. All the people commenting on YouTube and Spotify. Oh, yeah, and so if you want to keep contacting um, us at. Oh yeah, you can uh, send us an email at brotherscommonplace at gmail dot com. Uh, social media, I mostly just use Instagram and YouTube. So, Tusa does Facebook, right? I just glance at it. Like, if you don't get a message response on Facebook, it's because it's me not responding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I'm so sorry. I usually respond to everyone on YouTube and then Instagram. So. Yeah. If Maybe. you never get a message from us, it's because I'm the one probably on that one. Can you I'm, add me back to it? I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, I can. Yeah, if you add me back to it, I yeah. can try to if respond. If you've ever been messaged on the Facebook, it was to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I me used to, I used to respond back, but then I'm dude, a piece I, of shit, I dude. couldn't do it because it was like so many fucking Indian ones. Or I, I don't mean that racist, but it was like just a yeah. lot of like yeah. Indian Good people. morning, sir. You yeah, used your podcast. But um, if it's like actually people, I would respond. I usually just send dick pics. Uh, yeah, and if that's how, if you want to be in our top eight on our MySpace page that we still have, just send us Fuck a picture yeah, of dude. your butthole. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's usually just Andrew's butthole, but I mean, it's pretty nice. But all righty, thank you everyone for listening. Be good. Stay safe. Live the dark stuff. Hashtag wild man. Do, does do, do you do you have any words of wisdom? Uh, I guess no. <laughs> Yeah, There's nothing I mean, prepared, if, dude. Yeah, it's right. If, if you don't, yeah. All righty, I'm shutting her down. Okay, okay. good.